What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Civilization 6 as the Zulu. Um, I'm back. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to stay back this time. We, we, hopefully we should be able to. Um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, um, what was I going to say? This series was the one that seemed there was some interest in me keeping alive. I think the Two Sicilies one is it's at a good point to end. Because like the next stop is world domination, which normally just doesn't end up happening. And it gets a bit boring, you know, just conquering cities that we're easily going to conquer. I don't think everyone's too interested in that. It's more about getting to the end point in those kinds of series. Um, so yeah, I don't want to like... We've conquered all the Mediterranean, which was the goal. Like, if we go any further, it just becomes a bit... You know, it loses its meaning a little bit. Uh, the Japan one, I don't really know where to go with that. I mean, if a comment comes through a bit later on with some suggestions of what to do, I don't really know. Um, we're struggling a little bit. We obviously aren't doing too well. <laughs> so, uh, we, we definitely came worse off in the the eastern asian theater but yeah if not i'm just gonna try and make some more videos i am hoping to move sort of not away from series because obviously these episodes are not really i don't record for long enough to make these episodes the goal is to move towards how do i say this like shorter not shorter series yeah but like one or two videos maximum per series where possible obviously the longer ones that just simply isn't going to be the case so i don't know i'll probably have to rethink that with the let's plays but certainly with like the ai onlys i'll be trying to make them a lot quicker fast paced and doing more of them um so yeah we'll see how it goes but yeah we might be moving more away from series and more into like the one episode sort of things where possible i'm not sure i'm gonna have to test new things obviously but yeah i've got some ideas but yeah for the most part we'll see what happens we'll see what happens but yeah this series we're gonna try and make a bit of a comeback <laughs> see what happens i don't know it's gonna be t very tough i mean i don't even know how we got our cities back and it did cost us everything so like, we don't have anything left really to conquer any more with and we need to get some era score <laughs> in the next three turns so we're gonna have a dark age and we're also being invaded by barbarians which is always fun oh there we go perfect three era score for circumnavigating the globe i found basically nothing with this boat it showed us a little bit of the coast but nothing else and how it's completed a loop i'm very confused by england's borders very messy but there we go we avoid a dark age all is well Two city cities, civs, just offered me, like, without even, like, hesitating, they were just offered me some, you know, pretty generic trade deals and tried to sneak in this city as well. I, I, I am going to notice that. I'm not that that averse to paying attention. And obviously, if I did it, I'd just undo it and cut it out. But <laughs> I, I did notice, like, this, you're not going to get away with that. So we got some great people. Great general. Uh, oh, no, we already had the great general. So the great artist and the great engineer. We can't use either of them. Nowhere to put anything from a great artist. We haven't really been able to build any theatre squares yet. And yeah, great engineer. We have not really gone after any wonders. I guess I could try, see what happens. But yeah, we'll, we'll have to try and figure something out, I guess. We unlocked the new vampire, though. And we can now build vampire castles, which sounds pretty cool. We'll see what they do. We're so far behind for technology, it's embarrassing. The only one other civ who's worse than us is Georgia. And I, I genuinely don't know where they are, so... We can't even, like, laugh at them. <laughs> can't even find them. So um, that's not a good sign, but I'm trying. We'll get a campus up, hopefully. But yeah, we're struggling on everything. I don't I don't even know how we turn this around. I mean, Ethiopia could wipe me out with, like, just a snap of the fingers. And I imagine Mongolia is not too far off doing the same thing. But we'll see. We're going to keep trying. If something happens, it gives us a chance. Yeah, but I don't see a way I can claw this back. I think this might be unsavable. <laughs> For me, at least. We'll see. We do need to pick a wonder. I can only build the Taj Mahal. Our Temple of Artemis in five turns. That is really nice, but... Yeah, I can't I can't build it. I will, I'm just going to get a theatre square here, and I will figure somewhere else out to build a wonder soon. The only th We're somehow second on soldiers. What? That makes no sense at all, but okay. They're, they're rubbish. I mean, that is the problem. That everyone else is... Everyone else has got, like, guns musket men that sort of stuff we are sort of stuck here i can't even get enough nita together to upgrade my catapults to bombards like we are not in a good good comparison <laughs> some of those other civs i don't want to build the taj mahal and definitely not in 80 turns just i want to build one wonder please this is the most random shape map ever i know i picked a weird map type but i was not expecting this i don't even know what map type was it uh it doesn't say but it was a weird one. It wasn't a normal one. But yeah, England's doing their thing, just colonizing everywhere. <laughs> oh my, England have three top four, wait, 75, 150, nearly 
four times as much science per turn as us. They must be miles ahead of everyone. Like, that's insane. Like, they're a hundred ahead of the next best Civ in first, and then everyone else is like a hundred ahead of us. So that is that's so ridiculous. I don't know how they've done that. I feel like my boats are exploring, and they've still managed to only explore the southern sea. I I, I don't get. Just go north, find the other sieves. Hopefully they will find something eventually. I'm trying. Oh no! Please escape. Yeah, hopefully they'll find somebody. It will be quite interesting. So Rome, who's been bullying me the whole game, at, well since we met them, and denounced us, and the, you know tried to make me trade away one of my cities by accident, just came to me and said they're scared of me. So I I don't know what. what so he's obviously going through a, quite an episode at the moment. He is not. He, he's going through some quite quick changes in his thought process obviously he's not not keen at the moment he said i have too many cities i'm too strong i'm right near him i don't really know where he is oh, he's over here but that's that's about all i know <laughs> can't see it he has two wonders being built by the look of it is that statue of liberty like that's absurd i can't get that that's 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 a long way away from us being able to build that and then Goodness knows what the other thing is. I think it's the Golden Gate Bridge. I know Ethiopia started building it too, but maybe there's a bit of a race on there. It did say Ethiopia was building it. I mean, here would be like a great spot for it. I don't know. It's obviously, yeah, there it is. I mean, that's not so useful. Anywhere up here would have been better, but I guess it's based on the city having enough production. I'm not going to judge them. They're doing better than me, so I can't really say anything. <laughs> Apparently, Ethiopia's military strength is 23. Oh, they're fighting Mongolia. I was going to say, because I, I'm, like, literally 10 minutes ago, they were full of units that were way better than mine, so I didn't know how that had happened. Because mine's 800, and it, my military is not that big. Uh, it's actually the biggest in the world now. That has come out of nowhere. No, way. according to this, it isn't, but according to this, it is. I, whatever. <laughs> I'm guessing that might be, like, different ways of how it's calculated. City, if I wanted to go after it, has 84 city defense. That is like higher than. That's a lot higher than mine, that's for sure. I mean, 76 here is close ish, but even. It feels like 84 is like the next level up, you know, as a number. I don't know. I feel like 70 is a high middle number, whereas 80 is like the first of the low high numbers. If that makes any sense. Oh, we avoided that last Dark Age. We're not avoiding this one. Flight. We're finally progressing down the tech tree at a very. Very snaily pace. A third Golden Gate Bridge, and this one definitely seems the closest to being completed. Blue and yellow. Oh, that's France. Okay, I was going to say, who on earth was that? I'm getting confused with the colours. Greece is orange this time. I haven't seen that before, but there you go. <laughs> Some different colour schemes coming out today. Okay, Ethiopia now has the smallest military in the world, and we have the biggest somehow, so I'm going to try and give myself a few turns just to move stuff over, but I'm just going to go for broke. We'll attack them alongside the Zulu. Um, if it goes horribly wrong, then it doesn't matter that much, and if it goes well, that's amazing. But yeah, I'll start moving some stuff over there. I'm not going to try and defend from the, Zulu, the Mongolia. I think I said the Zulu, but I'm the Zulu Mongolia. Um, but yeah, whatever happens, let's just denounce them. I mean, they're miles ahead in technology. It really doesn't matter. There we go, denounce Ethiopia. Let's see if that improves people's opinion of us. I don't know. And we'll just see what happens. If it all goes wrong, never mind. We'll move on. At a lower difficulty, probably next time. It takes forever to move my units around. Our road system is not very effective, or even that. I don't think any of our cities are even connected, to be honest, apart from the the original two. That is a barbarian battleship. That is terrifying. Please don't spawn one of those near me. I can't deal with that at all. Like I have nothing that can come close to that. Oh no, <laughs> my caravel ran into a barbarian battleship, so I think they're dead. Sorry. <laughs> There's so many rivers and stuff in the way. This is so painful. Just trying to move my units <laughs> through my own land as well. <laughs> well, Dark Age, just, you know, when the game couldn't get any worse for the bottom Civ who's struggling. I, I get the eras, what they're trying to do, but it, it doesn't work. Like, this game, you can't, like, make it worse for the Civs who are already doing bad. Like, that's just... I know, you know, that's in theory, you know, it should snowball, but it doesn't make it particularly fun. Particularly... In a human versus like AI scenario, I feel like if you're in multiplayer, you know you can just joke around with your friends about how bad it's going. But here, this is just suffering. <laughs> I think our road is broken. I can only move one tile at a time. I, I don't know what's going on. I guess it's the hills, but still, that's not great. But we've finally nearly all arrived. Ethiopia is no longer really weak, so it didn't really work out. But never mind. We're here now. Oh, we have wait what? 
Oh, someone must have stole our money. Um, never mind. <laughs> All our units just, just disappeared. <sighs> that, what? Where is it going? We're making 50 gold per turn. Someone must have siphoned all our funds. Or, oh, maybe it's the money glitch again. Sometimes you see it goes down. Um, great. Well, then, we'll, we won't attack Ethiopia. We'll wrap this up because, yeah, I have now got four troops. The biggest army in the world did not last too long. We just lost over half of it. So that'll be it for this one. Um, I'll come back with something new. But, yeah, at least we finished this one off. <laughs> we know the answer to whether we can do a comeback or not. The answer is no. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.